Hey guys, so sorry about the wind, but today what we're doing is we're out here at a secret location and what we're going to be doing is fishing for flathead. Now hopefully we can catch a few flathead for you guys, cook them up and film this all for you. So let's get into it. I'm gonna try. I can't, he's, does, he's not opening his mouth and he's not staying still. Yes. Oh, you run, run, run. He might spit it. Oi. Dude, you got one. He's a barb tail too, so. Um, so he's legal. Right, so Ethan here just caught this big barb tailed flatty. These guys only have to be 28 centimeters, and this guy's well over that. Let's get a shot to the camera. All right, guys, so that's just a big barb tailed flatty, and we will cook this guy up later. So hopefully, we'll get a few more, but if not, this barb tastes really good. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a PB. I'll take it. It's a PB. Oh, my God. Yeah. Whoa. And that's. Oh, there you go. Oh, you oh, just went on my foot. Are you on? Oh, yes. Oh. How come you catch all the big ones? Alrighty guys, so this is the second fish of the day. Miller's yet to catch one, but hopefully he does, so we can cook these up. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh. Am I filming? Oh. I know how to catch a fish. I don't just don't want him to get off. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it's a barb towel. Dude, I think I stepped on a flatty when I was going. There's like a spike in my foot. I'm going to mount it. There we go. That's a nice big bobtail flatty. Let's go cook them up. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So we've just caught these three flathead and one brim here with Ethan. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to fill them and then cook them. So this is the one that I caught. Ethan caught these other two. So here is how you fill it, this big fella. So what you're going to need to fill it, this flathead, is a pair of pliers so you can get the skin off and a knife. So what you want to do is you want to make a little cut just so it's beyond the skin, not so it goes all the way through. A little cut just in there and just slowly like that, work your way down right off its bone. And then stab myself in the finger then. I just stab myself in the finger. So as you can see, we just made that incision in there. It didn't go all the way through the fillet, which is perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly flip it over and do the exact same thing that we did to that side, but to here. And just cut all the way down. So what you need to do now is you need to be very careful. You make a small incision here and cut up right like that and just get the skin. If you get anything else but the skin, it wrecks it. So you have to get just like that. And I'll show you why just in a second. So you need to cut all the way down to up, up under the flathead. 
All right, guys, so as you can see, we've cut all the way through the fillet, and now what you need to do is you grab your pliers, and see this bit of skin just here? You just need to grab that with your pliers, and then just like that, removes all the skin. Then what you can do, go in here, cut all the way down, just like here, and that'll be one tasty fillet that'll show you how to cook after. All right guys, so you can see that there's two really good fillets come off a flathead similar to this size. So we're gonna get about six fillets off the flathead and two off that brim. So hopefully they taste really good after we cook them. So let's start filleting these flathead and I'll get to you after. No, I'd not have said it to you, mate. Oh, marvelous. All right, so we're gonna just fillet this brim that I caught earlier today. I'm going to cut. Straight down here. Here. Whoa, slow down with the enthusiasm, Ethan. Then just show him the fillet. So it's one fillet, and then we do the same to the other side. Beautiful job, Ethan. Yeah. Alright guys, so what we need to do now is these are the ingredients that you need. A bit of flour, some milk, cornflake crumbs, and an egg. So what we need to do first, just pour the flour onto a plate. We've got our little egg here, so we'll just crack that into the bowl. Okay, so we forgot a fork, so <laughs> Ethan's doing a good job. So then we just add a little bit of milk. Ethan, my homemade whisker. Then what we'll do is we'll get these cornflake crumbs and pour them straight onto a plate. Right, so what we're gonna do now as you can see, we got a lot of flatty fillets, just like that. And what we're going to do first, dip it into the, oh, dip it into the flour, put it in the egg, and then straight into the cornflake crumbs. Ready? All right. So that's what we're going to do to all of the fillets. So let's put this guy there. Inside a plate. Oh, I thought that was a plate. Just put this guy right there. And, okay, let's do the other fillets. So how you guys can test if the oil is actually ready to chuck the fish in is if you put in a little bit of crumb and it starts to sizzle like that, then it should be good. Right, so what you do with these fillets is you normally cook them about a minute on each side and then they should be really nice to eat. It makes it so much better if you put cornflake crumbs on it. So we'll give you a taste test up. Right, so that just looks so good. So we're actually gonna test a piece out. If you guys want, you can check out his channel too. I'll leave the link in the description. Mm. It really needs to be. That's so good. Mm. It tastes plain if you didn't have cornflake crumbs on it, but mm. it adds so much flavor. Right, so what I just tasted then was the flathead, which is actually my favorite fish ever. And this is brim right here, so we're gonna taste that. That actually does taste really good. Mm. But I still reckon the flathead tastes better. Yeah, but you can taste the difference. You can taste the difference, yeah. You can't get any more fresher than this. We literally just caught it 20 minutes ago, cooked it up, and it just like, look at it, it tastes so good. Hopefully we can do more catch and cooks in the future. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite type of fish to eat because hopefully I can do a catch and cook on one of them in the future. So thank you so much. Put it there. He's gonna like that